Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this video, I'll show you how to route your samples from Battery 3 onto individual tracks within Pro Tools. Now this is great because you can control and mix all the individual elements of your drum kits. Don't forget, you could always get in contact with me with any questions, comments, or ideas. Justin at wingsound.com. All right, so you're working with battery and you know, you've finished your sequence of whatever drums or other sounds, whatever you're using. And you know, you got the timing right, everything's cool, but now you want to do some processing on it. So what you might want to do is route them to their own separate tracks so you can do that separate processing on them. So there's two things that you could do. You could create an aux track and route it there or an audio track and route it there and record it as audio. I'll go into exactly how you do both those in a second. But first thing you want to do is go to the file drop down menu within battery, go to options and then go to the right hand side here and you see it says audio outputs. So you have the option of choosing a, a number of stereo outputs or a number of mono outputs. You can go up until 16 stereo and 30 mono outputs and just use the plus and minus sign to add or subtract or just click in the little box and drag up and down to adjust that. So once you've figured out, you know, how many stereo outputs, mono outputs you need, close up the options and find the cell or cells that you want to route to their own separate tracks. So I'm going to use this kick here. I'm going to use the three samples, the kick direct, the kick overheads and the kick room. And I'm going to route them to one track. So highlight that cell go to the cell tab and then go to the right corner, the bottom right corner where it says output. And you see here it says channel and it says master right now. But all you gotta do is click on the little arrow to make the change. So I'm gonna choose mono 17. So then go to the next one. So the kick overhead and I'm gonna do the same thing. Mono 17, the room, same thing mono 17 okay so i'm going to close the battery and i've already created a mono aux and a mono audio track so i'm going to do the aux first so here's the aux and all you got to do is go to the inputs and as you can see plugin shows up and battery three and then choose according so i choose mono 17 for the kick so now let's play this So now I got my kick coming through this aux and I could do my processing on that. And the other way to do it on an audio track is exactly the same. Go to the input, plug in, battery, and then choose according. So mono 17. Now if I just play back, I can't hear anything. So what I need to do is record that as audio. So just arm it for record and then record it. So there you go. And I just recorded that kick drum as audio and I could do my processing on there. And you know, you can get real crazy with this and route each, you know, separate kick drum sample to their own audio track. So you can do really even more detailed work, you know, and you'll have more control over you know, how much overhead or how much room sound you're getting into that kick. And you could do this with the whole kit. It's really cool. It gives you a lot of flexibility and, you know, you could use all your really good plugins on it to get a great sounding mix. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.